the physical nature of film is that it's an incredibly delicate, fragile little cell, you know, that really can't exist through time. However, there's there's the technology is is there at the moment. It's probably at its most affordable. It's it's most accessible to um, to take these really important films that have had a big impact on culture, uh, the art form in general, or, or had a big impact on on audiences or for career launching or whatever. Um, that uh, that we can preserve them, you know, for future generations and for everybody forever. And there's nothing that, no matter how great a um, uh, you know, a vacuum sealed uh, library of physical film is, nothing compares to being able to have um, a beautifully restored uh, digital uh, version of that film to live on forever, to be able to be shown in cinemas as, as all the projectors are now, you know, digital projectors. Um, these films deserve not to sort of get broken down as the years go on uh, physically, they deserve to be able to be seen for the way that all of those wonderful filmmakers uh, intended. If you can capture uh, the moment in time where they uh, fortified all of their creativity into that picture for Joss, the defining picture for her in the early in her career was proof and, uh, and from that many a career was launched and, uh, and a new storytelling voice you know, shifted uh, because of what she did. So to be able to, um, to restore and bring that film back to life in the form that she would like it to be seen for time is, uh, is a wonderful thing and, and, um, and I can't wait to see it.